Yeah, good morning, guys, and um, welcome to um, my tribe video. And um, I have started a series for over three weeks now. Yeah, but because of the NSAS um, situation in the country, I couldn't shoot the last week episode of the tribe videos and i'm very very sorry about that and um i i want to say um you forgive me um i will still continue with the life of a nigerian entrepreneur and of course i want you to do a few things for me now um i want you to like this video subscribe also and click on the notification bell if you are watching this video via youtube because um you will always love every content that i'll be bringing every week and um, this week um just like i i i made the flyer last two weeks that i'll be talking on team building now to choose your um best team your winning 11 um, the truth of the matter is for you to have a team. Um, maybe I start with what a team is. Um, a team is just a um, collection of um, people that have same goals, that have same vision. Of course, they might not even have same goal or vision, but they can be, you know, inculcated. The goals and vision uh, might be inculcated into such people in such a way to drive growth or to meet a set objective so it is a collection of people that are working together to ensure that something a goal is actually met you know a, a tax is actually achieved when they put together their resources their individual um, um uniqueness at play and this also comes to play when we talk about our business and running um, a, a successful business most especially in Nigeria and um, team building is one of the com crucial components for startups and small businesses to grow and scale and um, it's very very necessary as a new a newbie in the business world to take your time out you know to choose people that will work for you people that will work with you in your business and so you must be able to understand how this work. Let me start by saying that um, the reason, let me start by choosing, by telling you why you should have um, a good team. Um, a good team will help you, you know, manage your resources effectively. That said, you will spend less um, when you have the right team because they are bringing their you know uniqueness their talents even to the table so you won't wastage of resources um, will be reduced to the minimal level um, you also have you know pool of ideas because you don't know it all as an entrepreneur fine you might be the ceo you might be the founder you might be you know the lead team lead of your friend but um, you have a lot of people that have several ideas that you might not be able to you know you might not have at that time so it will help you to you know get you know different views different ideas they bring it to the table and that will help you scale your business to the next level then also another thing is that um, there is division of labor and of course there is division and when there is division of labor there will be of course effective utilization of resources and um you also be will be you be you have more time for yourself to you know look and plan and do things that matters to the growth of your business and then um, let me also talk about um different types of team members that you can have i want i must say this um, because we have a lot of um, issues about team building and i've has had people say how uh, should i employ people is it a must that I employ people that everybody that I employ, I employ must be part of my team or should I, must I employ somebody before I can have a team? 
the answer is no we have different types of team member we have people that will work for you as an employee and um, you being the employer we have vendors who are vendors vendors are people that you buy product from you buy your raw material or your product if you are into the fast moving customer goods some of the or you are in the manufacturing you might need to buy products buy machineries buy you know stores from other people do you know such people are your team they are actually team members and that's why you need to be very careful when choosing them so that they won't ruin your business we have had people have bad vendors that supplies them substandard goods and at the end it bounced back on their brand and it bounced back on um, their business so vendors are also part of your team members we also have freelancers freelancers are people that you do not necessarily they are not part and person of your normal staff but you outsource to them and one of the things that can help you grow and scale your business is you need to learn how to outsource because you can't do everything so freelancers are, are actually part of your team so you need to be very very careful when you choose them it's not a freelancer that are not as easily accessible you know some of them you have to call call send message before they reply you know that may spell doom for such business owner so you need to take your time to also choose your freelancers so i've been able to tell us the three types of um um, um team members that you can you can have your normal employee those ones will be on salary they will be part and parcel they'll be on ground to see to the effective run of your business vendors are those you buy material raw materials from um, um, or you buy product from you know how you you source your goods from then we have the freelancers that you know they are into the service they render service for you at a fee so they are they are we call them part-time they are part-time they are not fully into your business as a whole so i want to stop here because um we can't finish it this week so i will continue next week still on team building and how to choose your best team so this today what i want you to do is to look at your business and look at these three types of um team members are they in your business if they are not try as much as possible to incorporate them into your business and i've shown you the advantage that advantages that you can actually get from having a great or a good team member so that's that on that um thank you once again for watching this video before i go like i said i have over 70 yes people that have subscribed to my free tutorial on how to design e-flyers banners and how to create sales animation video that sells and converts and um, i don't know why you are yet to subscribe i don't know why you are yet to click on that button and put in your details and get access to this course free of charge i'm not taking i'm not collecting any money from you subscribe and get the course start using it if you have any question concerning the ask me questions i'll be willing to help so i don't know why but um of course people that are not even within my circle of influence they have subscribed and they are really enjoying i've been getting feedback from them so please the link will be made available under this video if you are watching it for facebook or youtube feel free to click on the link you know sign up in for the course and um, it's just a 55 minutes free video tutorial that will help you to start divine, designing your e-flyer and your, your, your e-book cover, your sales animation, all for free right from your phone. Thank you so much for your time once again. Like I said just before you go, if you have not, if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, feel free to click on that subscribe button and that bell, that notification bell so that you get updates on the, my new videos that will be coming that will be uploading from time to time thank you once again i am uncle alikama the vice chancellor of track tech digital academic i am your number one partner in progress your number one 
business trainer and practitioner. Thank you and I'll see you next week.